to Amuto, where we got your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, and the spiciest themes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore. Producer Tyler has two minutes on the board and topics at the bottom of your screen. One of us may get out of line and need to shut the other up for 30 seconds, so that's why we have this trusty mute button. That's right, we do. Of course, we love it when the chat calls us out when we're wrong, so don't be shy. We can take it. Yeah. Let's kick it off with our top story and some of the big competitive changes to Overwatch. Blizzard released new patch notes for Season 16 for competitive Overwatch, and it has a big change that players are happy about. Players rated Grandmaster or higher can now queue up duos, preventing them from slacking in full groups of six. Now, Overwatch League players have been asking for this change for a long time, and some are hopeful that more changes they've asked for will that they're on the way. So, Brody, so no is this more, a good sign? No more six-stack gems. Yeah, no more six stack jams. Uh, the thing is, though, if we're being real, realer than real, none of us can actually enjoy these changes because none of us are actually that good at Overwatch, except for Ron, Ron Lee. Ron, apparently. Yo, and also Zurich, our very own Zurich. Yeah. They were a grandmaster. Well, he was a grandmaster at one point. Okay, well, Zurich got it, then it's not that hard to get. It. Okay. Shots. No, literally, Ron explains to me, it's like the top 1%, less than top 1% of players of Overwatch get to this point. So yeah. the queue lines are actually quite long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean, like, why are people concerned that Blizzard isn't listening to, like, first off, what? Blizzard releases he uh, heroes and characters just to specifically break up the meta at top level play. So they are paying attention to competitive, but most games don't really care too much, obviously the yeah. OWL shows that they care, yeah, yeah. but like consider that, you said it yourself, there's a top 1%. Yeah. Like, why would Blizzard go in and then like change a whole game and do all these things that 1% of their player base wants? Right. They have to pay attention to the casual audience, to the, the rest of the 99% as well. Yeah, right? but it could be like a trickle down effect too, right? Like maybe this will also apply to other things happening as we move down into like the 5%, the 10%, the people that are still up there but maybe might experience these problems moving forward. Well, the, the issue is a lot of people complain, oh, it's, it's like all the Q, uh, QOL, the quality of life stuff that's not going to change but that the, as you get your quality of life stuff mm -hmm. fixed and added into the game you're going to find more things and you're always going to complain i've seen this in every scene it is not exclusive to the overwatch scene every scene will continue to complain at everything at the top level oh the my top one percent will always complain about something so yeah. we, you just got to take what they're, they're saying with a grain of salt in all For honesty sure. yeah but this is just art reflecting life <laughs> as it does like this is just how the world works too the one percent sure. do complain it's just, it's just how it works when we have more things we have more things to complain about right exactly oh, mm -hmm. rip. anyways we gotta move on fortnite players are up in arms yet again look at complaining <laughs> this time over a new cheating accusation this time players are claiming that rise's exif teamed up with his teammates in the latest solo qualifier to get free points mm. exif allegedly had friends land near him in games where he could easily kill them after they made some questionable moves mm -hmm. epic games has not responded to the allegations as of yet mm. now marissa do you think that they're gonna have to make a change to the way that they uh, do these because it yeah. seems like there's new stuff when it comes to drama in Fortnite every single uh, week. Yeah, all the time. A lot of it is conjured up by the 1% as <laughs> yeah. Eve just so lovingly spoke of them. Uh, yeah, I do think that Riot needs to, not, sorry, Riot. Riot's yeah, that was but awesome. I do think that Epic, Epic needs to do something about this for the scene because obviously we don't want to condone cheating in any way, right? So mm -hmm. any, and that's what would upset me as a gamer, as a player, as a casual, okay, as it were. I really really get upset when people cheat and get away with cheating, yeah. especially when they're getting in to events that require a certain amount of points to get into. So it's not cool. Hopefully they respond with something. Now, I, would, I would hope that from Epic. I'm with you, and I yeah. think it's scummy and stupid to do that. Like, sure. I've seen it like way back in the Call of Duty days. People would just have their buddy sit in a corner, and you just go kill your buddy the whole time. Super I've rude. seen it. But to what? be devil's advocate, I, even to my own opinion, it. you know, if it's in the game, why not exploit it? I mean, really? like, there's there's money on the line here. Is it up to the players to not do this, or is it up to um, to the developers to change things? Right? Okay, like, well, is this up to Epic right now to make sure that they have a system in place that players can't exploit? Yeah. Because if it's there, someone's going to exploit it. So you may as well be the one exploiting it first. So you're not left behind. Brody, no. Right? It, no, now you're making excuses for like the disgusting humans that live in this world because there's a way to exploit something. I'm going to exploit it. No, this is the kind of stuff that really upsets me, okay? Because they're good-hearted, kind, hard-working people out there that put their lives into this game that don't have any friends to drop in to just kill to get these free yeah. points. That's not fair. Like, everything in this world should be fair. Unfortunately, we don't live in a world like that. But in video games, at least, at least the developers can do something to make it so. Oh. 
Okay, cool. So it is on the developers, not the players. That's what I'm saying. So let the players exploit it. No, no. I, <laughs> you're saying don't hate the player, hate the game. Your argument fell which is apart. What we're, no, it's not an argument falling apart. That's literally what it is. No, I agree. Player, don't don't be stupid, but at the same time, maybe it's not on the players. You literally made zero points here. You're just what? reiterating what I've said. Okay, anyway, chat, Riot Games is back in the news. Shut up. Back in the news again. Thanks to this gender discrimination scandal. Last week, it was reported that the developer is trying to force two women who are suing the company into private arbitration. Now, a new report says that some employees have had enough of Riot's actions and are planning to stage a walkout in protest of the company's decisions. The employees would stop working for a full day next week, all to try and stop Riot from punishing those involved in the lawsuit. Okay, Brody, Good. you missed this yesterday. Lisa and I discussed it, but mm -hmm. uh, do you think now that because it's like the next stage, the next chapter in the story here? Yeah. Um, but do you think this walkout could actually be effective for Riot? Yeah. No, I, I think uh, I think you always have to be. You can't be passive. Like pa passive activism. So slacktivism uh, or flat slack. <laughs> those words. It's funny because like just being passive doesn't do anything. You have yeah. to do these things, right? Yeah. Yeah. This all came about in the company Slack. So it's like. Oh, no, there. Okay. Slack, right, yeah. It works. There's Slack in the in there somewhere. Some Something came out of that mess of words. But, yeah, I mean, to, to be fair, uh, the employees here have a legitimate reason to stage a walkout. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, yeah, if they feel like their employees, employers aren't doing anything to actually aid the situation, somebody that they complained about for doing, you know, mm -hmm. inappropriate things in the workplace is still there. Like, yeah, he left and he, he didn't get paid for a month and he went to training mm -hmm. and he came back. So do you feel like he's not done his time then and he should be able well, to be allowed time. back into the workplace? It takes time to implement changes. Like, yeah. you can't change change someone in a matter of a month, yeah. right? It's going to take time, but uh, you know, as long as they're not doing the walkout just because they're the company's trying to settle it outside of court. Every company will do that yeah. with every lawsuit, not sure. just sexual lawsuits. Any lawsuit, any company will try to do it away from public eye. That's yeah. just the way they're going to do it. For but, sure. Yeah, wa walking out to make changes in the workplace that so they feel comfortable working there, that's valid. That's important. So as long as that's what they're doing it for and they know their cause, yeah. uh, getting out there and, and actually taking action is, is absolutely important. Yeah. I admire that. I don't know if a day is going to be enough. It might have to be more than that. Well, like because, a full... yeah, because within Riot, like obviously they have people that work in HR and they <clears throat> want to have individual sessions with these people that feel yeah. discriminated against or feel that they've been, you know, abused in some way. Yeah. And so they want to have like these private one-on-one -on -one meetings. But they obviously, when you uh, have an issue with something and other people have survived that issue as well, you want to be with them because you want to have some kind of camaraderie. Mm -hmm. You want to feel stronger because you are stronger as a team. So this walkout, I think, is very important for them just yeah. to feel like they have people supporting them. Yeah, I, I think sometimes you can get dangerous with too much of a safe space, but yeah. if everyone feels that way, good on them. Good on you guys for, yeah. for walking out. I know. I just, I really hope the best for these people, honestly. Like, it makes me feel so sad. Yes, we have to move on. Fine. Our last story is our most horrifying one. Oh, great. That's because at approximately 8.48 a.m. Oh. Eastern Standard Time this morning, uh -huh. the world was graced with the first trailer uh, for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Okay. And boy, is it something else. Starring James Marsden, Jim Carrey, and Ben Schwartz, the movie releases this November. And if you haven't seen the trailer, you know, go watch it in full. Pause this. Go watch it in full. Um, and hate your life. Oh my God. Jesus, Marissa, what do you think of this? First of all, like, we're the absolute worst for going with something very serious into something <laughs> that's like not serious <laughs> at all, which is this freaking trailer. It is really dumb. Yeah. I mean, they obviously really, have to- Really, really dumb. That really is stupid, but they have to put in humor there, right? Or else people aren't gonna go to the movies. I love Jim Carrey. I think he's an absolute national treasure, BT dubs, but I'm not sure about this movie. Like, it's just very- I'm conflicted I'm so confused. There are there are things that seem redeeming. Jim Carrey is one of the only things redeeming as long as yeah. he gets fat and bald by the end of it. They stay true to it. Um, you know, obviously they tease the, the balding in it. Yeah. Um, but he's, he does need to get fat too. But he seems like one of the only redeeming factors. Uh, yeah. Marsden seems all right as well. There's a couple of good one-liners in there. But yeah. I, I feel like whenever I'm watching it and Sonic's on screen, yeah. I'm just going to feel uneasy, man. He's got human teeth. Well, yeah, he has human teeth. That's weird. Which is weird. And uh, also, why did they play Gangster's Paradise for the entirety of that trailer? Like, why was that the music they chose? It's just Gangster's it seems, Paradise, yeah, what? Very and does he have electrical powers now, too? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of electric okay. something. So like, even it's held in his hair. Do you think this is like a, would it do fine if it wasn't like, you know, released in the same year as Detective Pikachu? Because I feel like Detective Maybe. Pikachu is going to blow it out of the water. I hope 
hope so. Yo, that's coming out soon. We're going to go see. We'll go see. It's going to be a squad venture. We'll go, I'll go see it together. So, so do, do you think Sonic's going to suffer because of this? Uh, or it's going to suffer because of it? I feel like if Detective Pikachu... No, it, I feel like it will be... Okay, it might reap the rewards of it because if it, it's done really well, Detective Pikachu is very good, mm -hmm. then people might want to see a continuation of this kind of weird um, animated furry thing brought to life with human teeth. Like, I don't... Why does he have teeth? You're right, yeah, come on. This, it's, it's weird. weird. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch it. Let's move on. Anyways, it's time to see what streamers are up to in clip. But our first clip comes from IRL streamer, Hey Guys, who decided to go out for a smoke when this happened. Uh -uh. I have... I never come up here, but I know my neighbors do. It's fine. First media was sold, yeah. That was one part of her. Uh, no, that's, that's what you get for going to a place you shouldn't get. Well, no, that's what you get for smoking. Is that was that fire alarm or burglar alarm? No, it, it, she just shouldn't smoke. She's breaking See, if, in. She did, if she wasn't a smoker, she wouldn't uh, have gone yeah. to do that. It's all because you're smoking. But yeah, uh, don't smoke. Uh, yeah, d also just don't break into places. That's what you're doing. No, Breaking no, she's into just place like, while you're streaming. I think she's using like a, maybe the fire estate. Yeah, don't smoke cigarettes. Hmm? Don't smoke cigarettes. Like hmm. that's the name. I actually enjoy a nice cigar every now and again. Yeah, would you? Would you? Have just, I, I wonder what happened next. Though, would you have just sat there and and told someone, or would you be like, I'm out? Oh well, there's probably security footage, so I probably couldn't get away with not telling somebody. But. As I've I don't know, in you're sneaky. Life, you, it's you, better you to bounce. ask for forgiveness. Yeah, I, I bet you you played a lot of Nicky Nicky Nine Doors. Like, you were probably no, like no. going down the street no, I, no. trolling people. Oh my gosh, I would never do that. I was such a good kid. Uh -huh. and also, that's bad what karma. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Our next clip <laughs> comes from Aris, who it could be actually Ari. Depends. Sometimes when you're Greek, you, you pronounce it okay. like Anyway, whatever. Dropping some knowledge for all of us to pick up. You know. You, uh, you Ares fans are always trying to pretend like you're a bunch of 12-year-old stoners, but the reality is a lot of you are actually adults that are very successful and mature, and you use this as an outlet to behave like a little bitch. But outside of this chat room, you're a totally normal and successful uh, functioning member of society. You're just pretending to be a little bitch so that there can be balance in your life. Thank you. You know? You gotta show it somewhere. You're just showing it here. Okay, uh, Lily confirmed it's ours. Um, also, yeah, does yeah. that, is he talking about Keemstar? <laughs> no, because Keemstar is a little B. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. Yeah, um, but no, no, re really, it's, it's true. And this is what I tell people, if you're ever like, Online and people are just like being stupid and yeah. like immature. Just assume that they're a 12 year old, or in this case, someone pretending to be a 12 year old. Like it, this is how they get all their aggression. Yeah, that's that is the the I guess the beauty and the issue with the internet and yeah. and having like pseudo anonymity because mm -hmm. it's like you can just create another ego. It's almost like role playing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and you see how big GTA RP is getting, right? Yeah, so it's that's like true. people love to try to be other people, and Especially, if you can, yeah, if they could be dicks. You, yeah, you could be that. But I don't get why. I mean, like, just just don't be a dick. Because of Schrodenfraud. How many times I have to tell you? You take joy in other people's pain, and if you can inflict it anonymously, well, that's even better. Because like, does karma really get you if you're anonymous? Yeah, well, no, karma doesn't get you because karma ain't doing anything. What? I, we talked about this. Brody. Good people fail and bad people succeed sometimes. Oh my God, it's that just is the way not of true. life. It God, is the you, truth. No, listen, it truly is now the best time of day where we scroll through the Twitters to bring you all the things of pros and quote pros, unquote. Stay on to the timeline. This one comes from a real pro with real feelings. Hug says, so as that told me he had plans to watch GOT last night. So when I finished watching, I immediately walked up to him and made a joke about the episode's biggest spoiler, only to find out he didn't oh, end no. up watching. I felt awful. I can't believe some of y'all spoil for fun. Yeah, the, so that kind of goes back to what we were just talking about before there, is that some people just go on to ruin. Oh, also, warning. Actually, this is a great time to warn people right now. What? Uh, if you haven't seen you know, GOT or uh, Endgame in that, uh -huh. be careful on Twitch. Be careful in Discord. There are a group of people going around and raiding people's Twitch chats and discords, oh spoiling all of these things hey, for everyone. Brody, so be for careful. Being super late to the party. This has been happening like yeah. the entire weekend. Well, it's been happening for, for years for other things. Just yeah. be careful. People, I want, you can't say it enough. 
I know. Be careful. In Twitch chat, it's so scary out there for sure. But also, the whole Game of Thrones thing, I got into a few fights actually on Twitter with people, just especially the COD community, was just like... <laughs> it's always the COD it's always community. The COD, they were just out there like t talking about everything in the episode on Twitter. Like, you guys, there are Reddit threads for this. Why are you on Twitter discussing this openly? Mm -hmm. Like, people, even if they don't follow you, somebody that knows them could like that one, and then mm -hmm. it all of a sudden shows up on another person's feed. Like, it's not okay. And all it takes, honestly, is a little bit of consideration. That's all you need to have. You need to have consideration and empathy for other people who may not have been able to watch these things live or maybe live busy lives or maybe they have kids or pets or parents to take care of and they can't get to the movies just yet or they can't watch Game of Thrones just yet. Like, have some freaking empathy and understanding. Don't name names. Don't spoil plots. And it's not like J-Cap was honestly trying to say that, like, oh, they can compare us into, like, it's like watching sports games. It's, it's the same thing as sports games. That's what yeah. he said. Like, if you haven't watched it live, like, don't worry about going on Twitter. It's going to get spoiled for you anyway. Like, no, no that's not how this different. works. It's literally apples and oranges comparing those two things. Well, Again, you can also compare people. apples and oranges. Like, I don't see why No, you can, can, but they're two different things. Yeah. They're both fruit. I'm, you know so what? It's, here's the thing. I'm still, I still, uh, like, I don't watch GOT. I've watched the season finales of everything in, like, one episode of this season. I just don't really care for what? it. But I, I, so I know everything that's happening, but I'm not going out and spoiling it. Even though I don't care about it, I'm not spoiling it. I just really hope that it all wraps up at the end of it, that it's just like some kid is like, it's his imagination and he's just LARPing. Uh, just to troll <laughs> everyone. That would be the Isn't best Isn't that like your same theory for ending. Smash Brothers? Or uh, for Smash Brothers Melee? Yeah, is that your same? I, I, I think it'd be great. It's just some kid pretending to murder dragons and stuff out in the field somewhere. I mean, That's what it comes down to. Isn't that to. basically, because it comes from the mind of someone else, so technically that is I suppose accurate. so. All right, theories like aside, we got to move meta. on. Next up, Nate Shot expressed great disappointment and quoted this tweet by Optics owner and CEO Hector. He says, this is simply unacceptable at FedEx. I hope I can get replaced this somehow. <laughs> the most disappointing and most unfortunate news was received this morning. FedEx, we were trying to play a prank on Nate Shot by sending him his trophy. Maddie took this to FedEx and look how they wrapped a trophy. Well, look how they didn't wrap a trophy. They thought that they were just gonna be able to put paper around this thing and look at the trophy. This is Nade's, like, probably only tournament win ever. And <laughs> but no, this is no laughing matter. Look, the, the trophy was broken. FedEx, how are you guys professionals at packing and you don't have the common sense to pack this correctly? Look at the box when it, when it was just returned. Look at the state of this box. It is just like caved in. Unbelievable. Somebody needs to answer for this. This is unacceptable. Oh, uh, that is, that is feels. I know, because you haven't actually won a trophy in anything. Uh, wow, are you kidding? I actually have a lot of trophies at home, by the way, BT dubs. I do, I'm gonna bring them all in. It won't <laughs> even fit on this desk, actually. <laughs> I have a lot of trophies. Okay, but none of them were like as precious and as glass. As glass. As, as they that. weren't as glass. <laughs> that is true. They weren't as glass. That, for, okay, I, I might also just say like it's kind of their fault. I mean like they did, uh, FedEx obviously seems to be work. They replied saying, hey, we're going to try to help you out here. Yeah. yeah. But it, it like doesn't seem like it was like, when I'm packaging something that fragile, yeah. I'm packing it myself. I'm not leaving it up to someone else to well, do. Well, no, but when you have money or when you have an organization saying, hey, go and send this to him, somebody will just take it to FedEx and pay the money to do their uh -huh. job. And obviously FedEx did not do their job. They replied to this, but I love how Josh OG Yeah, we need to talk about how you replied. Josh OG responds to that reply from FedEx, literally copying word for word, but in like a SpongeBob derp. Yes. And then like, I, I love how, I think it was Diesel. Diesel replies to him being like, yo, how long did this take you to type out? And Josh OG's like, uh, like 30, oh, just 10 minutes. He said 10 minutes, but like he once he was already 30% in. <laughs> he's like, once you're 30% once you're in, you're just, there's no going back at that like, point. Like, it's fun to laugh at, you know, Nate Shot's pain just for like a minute. But I Isn't think, that how Nate Shot found out, too, that yes, it got broke? Yes, that's how he found out. Oh my God. I know. Why would you, someone else just ruins your trophy for you? I know, but hopefully that gets, I think they're gonna make a replacement for him, they hopefully. Can get another one. It's his one and only pro trophy. <laughs> Gonna make it work. Too, Listen, yeah. our last profound thought is from one of those quote pros, unquote, because <laughs> let's call a joke a joke, and this guy is a full on joke. Another one of society's little stains, but hey, look, he's getting the airtime he desires, so here we go. Keemstar shares that same clip we showed you yesterday from the collegiate Fortnite esports event where pros said they were retiring from Fortnite. He follows up his rip Fortnite with Remember when you killed my Fortnite community event, pulling 9 million viewers a week? Fortnite, lol. 
Um, hi. I like, hi, Keemstar. I like it. Hi, Keemstar. Um, dude, you actually were the one that ruined that Can Fortnite partnership him? with your frequent toxicity, so don't get it twisted for a couple more legs. Just remember that, bud. Yeah, I would love to use that on him, but not 30 seconds, just permanent. Yeah, uh, that, yeah what permanent. do you mean? Like, nine, mil so nine million people passed through it. That mm -hmm. wasn't, like, nine million active. Nine mi million people would have passed through, but that's any eSport at the beginning, man. Like, it's just because you were there at the beginning when it was popular. You didn't start anything. You didn't make anything. He it was going to get it no matter anything. who was doing that broadcast. No, but, like, the, the fact remains that he thinks that he can actually... That actually, he doesn't think. He knows because that tweet just last night had 6.5 people like it, which means 6.5 thousand yeah. of you are idiots. Oh, this You're 6 full people. on. Six no, 6.5 people. thousand people <laughs> are so dumb. Like the fact that you continue to follow this idiot and continue to give him the likes that he craves so much, you continue to feed this ego that is literally based off of nothing. All he's done in his life is troll others and take joy in trolling others and making other people's lives miserable. It's not okay. He continues this. Honestly, somebody DM me, I won't say who, telling me like don't even bother because like his his followers will try to get you. Oh, yeah, so yeah. They'll come after you. I'm like, honestly, it's like at this point, bring it. Full on bring it. I want this to happen. Like Keemstar needs to be taken down. And and obviously he already has because he's not really getting he's any partnerships. Himself down. He'll, he's taking himself yeah. down. He he's not getting partnerships with these big I love that he wants to do Rocket League stuff too. But it's like Psyonix would attach their brand not to any of the close. toxicity right. that this guy brings to the table. He sucks full on. Remember when he had the one hundred he's okay. like he's like a hundred if I get a hundred K. I'm with you. I'm doing this because we gotta move on. Why? Uh, we gotta that's <laughs> enough. Let's move on because it's time to get the crowd control, because it's meme time. We got cool-ish, funny-ish, all the ish. Video games get sweeter as we get older, as Reddit user Donor Tier Kuchin points out here. Playing Pokemon as a kid and playing Pokemon as an adult because you finally have the money to buy the games and understand all the mechanics. <laughs> Straight up, as as like have That's games not like got like better like um, uh, like Animal Crossing just gotten better now that you understand the meta, you understand how things work. Um, I. Are you still, I think you're I, still gone? I think, oh, no, I'm on mute. No, okay, sorry. Here. I was talking and then I realized <laughs> that I can't actually say words. Um, no, I love it. That reminded me of a little, that Professor Layton kind of crossover, mm -hmm. when he just like, yeah, you become a little more refined. Like, you're yeah. still playing your cartoon puzzle games, but like, hmm, with a monocle. Yeah. A little, I, a little mustache. I, oddly enough, though, I, I feel like it's been the opposite for me because like, I'm now too competitive. I'm like, no, I need to, I need to min max all these stats. I need yeah. to, you know, do all this EV training and stuff. And like, it's just not fun. I enjoyed the days of Pokemon where I'm like, I'm gonna capture this one because it looks really cool. I don't care if it's good. No, my mistake of playing Pokemon and I realized as I got older was that I, I renamed all of them. <laughs> I've always renamed them yeah. so that when I came, when I got older, what I'm was like, your oh, first Pokemon's like, name? Uh, Chimchar. Ch Chimchar. No, that's what you called it. That's the name of the Pokemon. Oh, that was my first Pokemon that I renamed to something else. Yeah, my, my Bulbasaur was named Shoddy. Shoddy? S-H-O-T-Y. As in Shoddy. Yeah, but it was just like, because it, it shoots out the vines. Oh, so it was like shooty, okay, but, okay. but I misspelled it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was 10 year old me. Romacher, next up, Harry O. Price shows us his appointment in cake form, saying that the fact that they tried really hard makes it even worse. What do you oh. mean? It looks normal to me. It looks great. <laughs> Here, watch. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to change. I suppose it's going to uh, look the same way in the end, right? Yeah, here, look. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you making one? <laughs> Freddy. I'm making a Pikachu. This is not. See? This is, his looks way. <laughs> Can you show me? Oh, my God. You literally did that right now. I thought maybe you had oh pre God. Why is his leg inside See, so his that, body? That, that looked normal to me. It looks like a gremlin. It looks like you drew arms and legs. I can't draw at all. This you, is awful. Yeah, really Hey, as bad. long as that cake tasted good, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the effort that matters. That's true, but it just belongs in those. Uh, I don't know where you find them. If it's on Reddit now or it's just like Pinterest fails, or people like look, go onto Pinterest, they try to re recreate something. <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. Just, that uh, was basically that, yeah. essentially. Full and fail. All right, moving on. It is time for our last post. Fear My Beard is going to teach you guys how not to win a race, or do, I suppose. It's up to you. Oh. So, so far, yeah, this is normal driving to me. This, oh is, my. How, this is how I come down the laneway. <laughs> this is how you got that ticket. This, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'd be chasing me if that, boom! Oh. Literally, literally wrapped around. Oh. Can you imagine the police investigation after? So how dead was he? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that's so bad. I, I think was not expecting that. It's so sick how like, it just, you can literally wrap the car around a tree. The physics that, on that is so sick. Yeah, because this is a video game and like, but that would be 
horrifying. Oh yeah, don't do that in real life. No, this is why you shouldn't get arrested or shouldn't get tickets for stunt driving, Brody. I don't. Like honestly. Oh no, I wasn't doing backflips. You weren't, but like you were going really fast. I don't want you to get hurt, okay? Yeah, it was. It I was really for my you. safety. Ironically, it was for my safety, I know. okay? Did you learn the lesson? Why do you? Yes. Why do you have to get bring this up? It hurts so much. I know, but I just want to make sure that you learned a lesson and that you'll drive safer in the future. Yes, I learned a lesson. Don't okay. get caught. No. <laughs> That's it for you today. Remember that you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff we can react to. Someone type exclamation mark in the socials right now in chat, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.